The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts at Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colors go outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me! I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling all of those things? Such big animals! Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Hi, Duncan? I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a, a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend... Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on your very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write this is for my friends Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I needed you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday... You used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, 
You used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange glad I'm here. Ha! <laughs> your pal, the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or, or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Cran. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Cran. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked? and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes, help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. and an A-plus for creativity. The Crayons Trick or Treat, Drew Daywalt, Oliver Jeffers. The crayons are ready for Halloween. They can't wait to fill their bags with treats. You know what you're supposed to say on Halloween, right? Of course we do. Orange knocks on the first door. Give us your candy, lady. I'm naked. What? Okay, that was all kinds of wrong. Not to mention confusing. It's a holiday, you guys. Think holiday. Now let's try that again. Okay, we got this. Yeah, no problem. Green knocks on the next door. Merry Christmas! Happy American Cheese Month! Happy birthday! I'm naked! Okay, it's Halloween! And we have to be polite, too. Oh, polite! Okay, we get it now. Gray knocks on the door after that. Happy Halloween, please? I'm naked. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, for crying out loud. Points for good manners, I guess. It's a scary holiday, everyone. Oh, scary. Okay, I got this one. White knocks on the door. Boo! Eek! That's not quite what I meant. It was close, though. Gray steps forward again. Wait! Repeat 
after me. Trick or treat. There we go. The crayons all knock on the door. Trick Trick or or treat. treat. And also, boo. Ah! The Crayons Go Back to School by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Summer's over and crayons are going back to school. Blue and beige wave goodbye to the beach. See you next year. Goodbye, beach. Later, dudes. The night before the first day of school can be very exciting. What am I going to wear? And it's nice to see old friends. Oh my gosh, did you get taller? No, but you're looking marvelous. And make new friends, too. Hi, I'm Chunky Toddler Cran. Hi, Chunky. I'm Husky Toddler Cran. Oh, wow. Same last name. I wonder if we're related. And getting back to work is fun. Purple Cran loves math. Goodness gracious me, math is always so nice and neat. Black Cran loves writing. I'll start with an outline. White Cran loves reading. Yellow and orange love science. Hey, look, Jupiter is yellow and orange. Finally, something we can agree on. And they're all excited for art class, even if they make a mess. Actually, especially if they make a mess. Did someone say mess? The end. Thanks for watching. Love from the Crayons by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Love is red because love comes in all shapes and sizes. Love is purple because love has its own imagination. Love is brown because love is sweet like chocolate. Love is gray because love can be small and soft or big and strong. Love is white because sometimes love is hard to see. Love is green because love is helpful. Love is yellow and orange because love is sunny and warm. Love is blue because sometimes love is stormy. Love is pink because love can be silly. Love is peach because sometimes love can hide. Love is black because love isn't always bright and colorful. Love is every color. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Green is for Christmas by Drew Daywalt 
and Oliver Jeffers. Green is for Christmas. Green is for Holly. Ahem, red is for Christmas. Red is for candy canes. Even old ones. Green is for fir trees. Red is for Santa Claus. Darn right it is. Listen, you guys, I'm invisible all year long, so you're not taking this one away from me. Hello? Snowflakes, snowmen, marshmallows. White is for Christmas. Silver is for Christmas. I'm kind of a big deal on the Christmas tree. What's Christmas without silver bells? You just tried jingling without me. I'm not sure why I'm here, but yeah, what he said. Brown is for Christmas. What about cookies and reindeer? I'm more burnt sienna, but that's cool. Huh? You can't have Christmas without any of us. Nice hat. Especially green. The end. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. The Crayons Book of Numbers by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Duncan's 10 crayons have gone missing. Can you help find them for him and count along the way? Start coloring inside the lines. Three crayons. I am the true color of the sun. Four crayons. I am tired of being called light brown. Six crayons. Could you please use me sometime to color in a dinosaur? Seven crayons. Being the favorite color can be tough sometimes. Eight crayons. I need a rest. Nine crayons. I can do more than just outline things. Ten crayons. Elephants are a big space to color all by myself. Hooray! You found all ten of Duncan's crayons. Duncan and his crayons are very happy. The Crayons Book of Colors by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Can you name the colors of Duncan's crayons? This is Red Crayon. Red Crayon has colored strawberries, hearts, apples, a fire engine, and Santa Claus. This is Purple Crayon. Purple Crayon has colored a dragon. And some grapes. This is Beige Crayon. Beige Crayon only colors wheat. This is Gray Crayon. Gray Crayon has colored a rhino, a hippo, and an elephant. And a baby penguin. This is White Crayon. Can you see him? White Crayon has colored a white cat in the snow. This is Black Crayon. Black Crayon has colored beach balls and rainbows. This is Green Crayon. Green Crayon has colored a dinosaur, a tree, a frog, and a bug. And recycling crocodiles. This is Yellow Crayon. 
Yellow crayon has colored the sun. This is orange crayon. Orange crayon has also colored the sun. This is blue crayon. Blue crayon has colored an ocean, clouds, rain, and a river. This is pink crayon. Pink crayon has colored a princess, but would like to color a monster. And a dinosaur and a cowboy. This is peach crayon. Peach crayon hasn't decided what to draw yet. Look, Duncan has colored a new picture. Can you name the colors? The Day the Crayons Came Home, Drew Daywalt, Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once, to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then, your dad sat on me and broke me in half. No. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your maroon crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban, the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as pea green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation that we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew pictures of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan! It's us! Yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside. And the sun melted us together. together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends. Yellow, Yellow and, and orange. orange. Hey, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me. After the horrors I've been through, I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, Tan. Or possibly burnt sienna? Crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, Duncan. Remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, 
glow-in-the-dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it would make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, <laughs> no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write it for him. This is not fun for me either, you know. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. <laughs> A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. Tell him I say hi. P.S. Sock says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period. But it's not really blue, more lilac. I think that door is for us. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. I hope there's not a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Oh, uh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Make sure it's straight. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. Today, we'll be working on a postcard project. 
you'll need some paper and all your favorite crayons. To get started, let's draw our stamp. Stamps are how the post office knows we paid for them to deliver our letter. This stamp will just be pretend, so you can design it however you want. Here are some examples from this book. The most important thing is that our stamp goes in the top right hand corner of our postcard. After that, let's write a few kind words to the friend we're going to give our postcard to. Nice! Now for the fun part. Let's turn our postcard over and we can draw a picture of our favorite place or maybe a place you'd like to visit someday. When that picture is finished, you'll have a beautiful postcard to give to your friend. Thanks for watching.